Hi, this is Antti from Leonto. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can build chat app with React Studio and uh, Firebase for, uh, Cloud Firestore database. So this is the first, first episode and I'm going to divide this about maybe three different episodes and, and this one I'm going to just to show how, how the final, final app will look. So, so this is the, actually the final, final app in browser. Uh, you can, you can, it should be responsive, so you can uh, check it out in, in mobile size or in desktop size. So when user arrives, uh, it, it asks user's name. This could be login, but in this tutorial I'm going to just ask user's name. And there's a sm uh, small animation here, as you can see. So I'm, go I'm going to type my name here, click continue, and then I uh, end up in chat rooms page. And this is basically it's just a list containing all the available chat rooms. I can add chat room from here. And here I have new chat room. If I click chat room, I will end up to that chat room and, and see all the messages. I can write new message and click send and it will be it will appear here immediately. And so basically this is the UI for the for the app. Let's go go to backend. It's the Firebase backend. So I simply have here uh, I have a chat room collection and I decided to do it so that each chat room actually contains the messages. You could do it so that messages would be uh, in their own collection here, but in this example it's so that here's one chat room, it's called photographers, and then it has a collection called messages. And if I click the messages, I see all the messages belonging to this, this chat room. And uh, Last but not the least, here's the actually the React Studio project for this. So this is the welcome welcome screen, chat chat room screen, uh, and chat room screen, and bunch of data stuff stuff here. Chat rooms and uh, chat messages. This is actually something that uh. I'm not using query to query the chat room messages. I'm actually referring directly directly to the chat room and messages collection uh, by just simply using the using the data slot in the in the in the path here. But we'll go deeper to that in the next next episode. So this is something that we're going to build and. Uh, I'm hoping that we, I'm, I'm going to release all the episodes uh, at one time, so you can follow, follow the, follow the episodes uh, immediately. Okay, thank you, and see you in next episode.